Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, man, it's good to be back. Tonight. Good to see the good crowd out tonight. Hey, man. Yeah. Thought about a lot to pray about tonight. Much to pray for. Hey, man. I'd like to say tonight, I. I sure appreciate the Lord, amen, of what he's done. I thought about in this meeting, amen, thus far, and I appreciate I thought about everybody that's come. I appreciate the lost, amen. Yeah. Amen. And if amen. you're here tonight and you're lost, amen, I thought, uh, uh, please, by all means, if the Lord deals with your heart, don't leave. Amen. Come up here and get what you need from God, amen. 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 I thought about it. That'll be the greatest thing you can ever do in your life, amen, amen. amen. is accept the Lord as your personal Savior. I thought about myself. Uh, I was thinking today, there, uh, I thought when I got saved, hey amen, I, I, I was out there pretty far, I was way out there actually, and, uh, but I thought about the Lord when he had mercy on me and saved me. I, I thought about he put something in me that was uh, uh, that I'd never felt, yeah. I had never been around nothing like that. Yeah. that and I thought, but when, when the Lord saved me, uh -huh. and I thought about he took that old wickedness that I had, and took all that out, amen. He put, uh, I thought about uh, everything inside me, amen, was new and different, amen. I'll even, I thought about it here, Brother Reed said it before, and it's so true uh, uh, that uh, I was even looking through new eyes, amen. Everything looked different, amen. People looked different, amen. The hypocrites that I used to say, well, if that makes it, hey, I ain't got nothing to worry about. Fattens are going yeah. They weren't hypocrites no more. Amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. Amen. I thought, you know, I'm glad. Amen. That's what salvation done for me. Amen. Yeah. And I'd like for you tonight, if you're here lost, I'd like for you to experience that too. Amen. 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 Well, I tell you what, it'll help you to make you, uh, uh, you uh, get a good night's sleep. You'll quit rolling and uh, uh, do you want the worries. God takes that. Yeah. You say, preacher, don't you worry? I do sometimes, I do, but I've got somebody I can give it to. Amen. 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 And let him have it. Praise Amen. the Lord for that tonight. I, I sure thank the Lord. And I'd like to say this too. Uh, uh, I appreciate what God's done around here. And I thought about the scriptures and the, and the, and the messages that's been preached every night. You think about it now. Uh, 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 we What we need to do is take these, and I mentioned it last night, and just... Bottle these up in our hearts yeah, and keep yeah. these and yeah, feed off these, yeah. amen, and yeah. uh, be ready to face. I thought about it because we're living in a time, amen, that this word that we're hearing preached, amen, the people don't want it. Amen. And it's a getting fewer and fewer, amen. Yeah. I thought, and when we look at our churches, and, and I was thinking today, I thought, Lord, help our churches, amen. Yeah. I thought about, the, uh, you know, me and Dad was talking about this. Uh, uh, used to back in the day, people didn't care to get in the altar, amen, and pray. Right, right. I, I thought, but now we're living in a time to where half the church won't even move no more. Yeah. I thought, amen. God help me tonight, amen. Yeah. I thought, when we get where the altar out, amen, I thought that's when things would take place, amen. Yeah. I, I, was, uh, I thought about the day there, back when I first got saved in 2001, uh, uh, I stayed on the altar, amen. Every time I had the opportunity at home, everywhere I was at, yeah. I praying, and, and the church, amen, I thought about Bailey over there. Everybody getting that altar. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Why? Because we had a need and we wanted Jesus to meet that need. Yes. We didn't have a need. Yeah. Amen. Uh, if everything was going good, how uh, uh, we loved our brother and sister enough uh, uh, to get in the altar for them. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I thought, praise the Lord. Uh, this day and time, hey, uh, we'd hardly got time even yeah. to pray for our neighbors. Amen. 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 I thought, Lord, help us. Pride's filled our churches so much to where people so proudful. They don't even want to come up no more. Right. Amen. 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 I'm not going to preach tonight, Brother Jason. Oh and, uh, but I appreciate it. Amen. Tonight, I just, and I thought about this meeting so much and what a blessing it's been to me. Amen. 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 Yeah. Raise your hand if it's been a blessing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If it ain't, praise the Lord, you need to get saved. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Got much to pray about tonight. I thought about uh, uh, many objects tonight upon our hearts. Remember the sick tonight to our land, but most of all, let's pray for those that's lost. Yeah. They may be somebody in this tent tonight that this could be the last opportunity you'll ever have yeah. to call home God. That's right. You say, preacher, surely not. I would not put it off. Amen. I wouldn't keep going the way you're going. Because when he said his spirit would not always strive with man. That's right. When he pulls that spirit back and you leave here without that, you're going to hell. Amen. I mean, you think about that. 
And I thought about a, a, a church member. If we're backslid, if we're cold and different on God, amen, he said, without the Spirit, we're none of His. Amen. And, and, I mean, that's not what Trent said. That's what the Bible said. That's right. And I thought, God help us tonight. If you're here tonight and need help, if you're here tonight and lost, I wouldn't even wait no longer because you've been here, you've heard the Word preached. You, the Lord's dealt with you through this. I'd just get up and come on right now. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And get that out. Get that over with. Yeah. Amen. And then you can sit and enjoy this service. Amen. Yeah. Right. Praise the Lord. I thought, you know, all you got to do is just step out. If you just step out, hey, uh, uh, y'all, you make the uh, you turn, and the Lord will give you the, the grace to go. Amen. Amen. So uh, pray tonight, church. Let's pray hard. I thought about for the ones tonight that's lost. Pray for the backsliders. Pray for the ones tonight that's got many needs in their families. I thought about so many sick tonight, different things. Remember our nation, remember our country. Pray for our, I thought about our armed forces. Remember those. I thought about Dan's son there over in Korea. Really pray for them, uh, that God would help them and hedge them up. Amen. I thought about if Cole was over there, I'd want every saint of God that I know. Yes. I pray them with everything in them. Amen. Amen. To take care of that God, but take care of my children. Any objects tonight upon your heart? Uplifting it all over life. Yeah, praise the Lord. I thank the Lord for today. Bless the Lord. I thought God is a dealing. And, and yes, these preachers are telling us right. God is getting people in. Yeah. And I thought today, Patricia called. And that's my daughter. And she said, Mama, guess what happened in my living room today? And I said, what? She said, a young gentleman come and, and said, he said, I, I want to confess. I've not told the truth. He said, I'm going with your daughter. And he said, I said I was really in there. But he said, I'm miserable. And she said, I know it. I've been praying for you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. He said, he just bust out crying. And he said, I'm going to yes, church in the morning. She said, oh, no. If God's working with you, you better yeah. go tonight. Yeah. He said, what's Amen. wrong with the living room right now? Yeah, that's it. So he made it right with the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank yes. God for that. Yes, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. Good news, ain't it? Amen. Amen. Brother Trent, I got something I got to say. Go ahead, John. Sitting away last night and I was pondering on the service. Amen. Going over I said, Lord. Help him, God. Bless him, Lord. What's happened to her joy in her church? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. What's happened to her joy? Yeah. Yeah. Touch it. You get answered right there. Yeah. I went on to bed. God spoke to me. He said, go in the bathroom. Yeah. I thought, him, Lord. He said, go to the bathroom. I got up and looked at the clock. It's 11.20. Yeah. Help him, Lord. I got in there. Mm -hmm. He said, look in the mirror. Yeah. yeah. I looked in there, and who'd I see? Yeah. 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 Who did I see when I looked in there? Yeah. yeah. I didn't see my preacher. Uh-uh. I didn't see my deacon. Come on. Bless him, Lord. Yeah. I didn't see the singers. Bless him, Lord. I seen John. Yeah. yeah. Amen. He said, there's the answer. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah. That's the reason he ain't no joy in the church. He starts with me. Yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We need to go and look in the mirror when we say we don't have no joy in our lives. Go up in the mirror. Yeah. yeah. God will give you the answer. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Amen, brother. Come sit and restore unto me, O Lord, the joys of thy salvation. Amen. Yeah. If we want it, we can't blame it on COVID. Uh -uh. No. It ain't COVID's fault that our churches are getting weak. That's Amen. right. That's right. <laughs> Whose fault is it? Yeah. It starts. With me. That's right, yeah. y'all. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad he got me to look in that mirror. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank Praise you. the Lord. Thank you. It's an eye-awakening thing. Yeah, buddy. Yes. We had enough happen here last night in this church. Yeah. Under this tent. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh uh. That's up to my God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the joy. Yeah. Amen. Of thy salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Help me. I'm not going to go home and get a whooping tonight. Thank you, Lord, for the joy. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the joy. Yeah. 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 Y
Ain't you glad that God sent a man to Paul through by the name of Dale Wheeler and Jason Hunley? I, I to preach to our children. I, hey man, and help them. I, I tell them about Sodom. I tell them about all the trans and tell them how it's wrong. I, I tell them that sin will take them to hell. Amen. Amen. That's what we ought to be shouting tonight. Amen. That our people are hearing the word of God. Amen. Instead of sitting looking like a deer in the headlights at them. That's right. Praise the Lord. God's good, ain't he? I thought, praise the Lord. I'm glad tonight, amen. Hey, if it ain't been a help to nobody, these young people are getting help. Yeah. I'm getting help. Yeah. Our people are getting help. Yeah. Amen. 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 What we need to do is just obey the Lord tonight and let God have his way. And I thought about if you're here tonight and need help, you can get it tonight. Yeah. yeah. And I thought, too, you think about this. I was thinking today, preacher, I should shut up. I will in just a second. Go ahead. I was thinking about this today. Do you know that you know that you know that you're saved? I mean, do you know without a shadow of a doubt tonight that you are where you need to be with God and everything's all well with you? Do you know that? Be honest with yourself because you're the only one that knows that. Yeah. Amen. I don't know. I don't know. The uh, uh, only thing I know, that's my wife. I don't know what's going through her mind. I don't know what's in her heart. And I, and, 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 but I thought I was thinking today, a state of confusion. And I don't know that I'm ready or not. I'd come. Yeah. I'd come and make sure. And I thought about, i never forget they mentioned everybody else was getting saved in, right in about this same area in a tent meeting. I thought about it. He got saved one night, and they said he went back to the altar the next night. Maybe he went back the next night. Somebody asked him, so well, didn't you get saved the other day? He said, yeah, I just want to make sure I got it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we may need to make sure that we got it. Amen. Yeah. Because, hey, we don't know if we got it or not. Yeah. And I thought about praise the Lord tonight. Amen. Got much to pray about. Anything before we pray. Trent, I got a special prayer request. Touch her, Lord. My uh, son-in-law's sister's having surgery Monday. And... Uh, She's got a mass, mass in her colon that's cancer. And she's got a tumor the size of a baseball on her ovaries that's cancer. Mm. And her heart only works at 35%. So they're going to do both surgeries at the same time. And it's going to take five hours to get surgery. And she's had cancer before. And I'd just like to replace her. Her name's Alicia. Amen. Remember that. Amen. Remember, Brother Scott, he's got a good evening. Pray much for Brother Scotty Jenkins. Help him. Amen. 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 Yeah. There's a boy I know, uh, I ain't going to say her name, but he's in a state of confusion, I guess I could say. Uh, Please pray for me. Amen. 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 Um, pray for Leslie. She's supposed to come to church morning. Just pray the Lord had her up. Yeah. Pray that she won't listen to the devil. Yeah. Man, that's exactly right. Amen. I'd like to request prayer for a man that we go to church with. He just found out he's got stomach cancer, stage three. He's a wonderful child of God, that's for sure. But yeah. he sure needs prayer for him and his family. His Amen. name is Randy Dalton. Yes. Amen. Remember that. Preacher, we've been uh, witnessing to a, a, a young man. He's probably in his 30s. I don't know if he's full grown alcoholic or not, but he drinks every day. And he's told me that he had tried to get church. Amen. Remember yeah. 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 Remember that. Let's come and pray. Praise the Lord. Brother Dale.
Heavenly Father, Jesus, and the Bless you, Lord, as we come to you tonight, God, of your most high and great, you, Lord. God, we thank you, Lord, for that you've done, Lord. We thank you, God, for all the many blessings for you, Lord, for life and faith in life, God. For love and soul, for the way you love and way to go tonight in service, God. And you know tonight, God, that you can take that to you, Lord. I ask you, God, to give the help, Lord, and the Lord, for that you want to go Lord, we realize tonight, God, that you are going to go down to the Lord. God, the Lord is fresh for you tonight, God, I pray, Lord. Lord, have your good will to one. Lord, it's all right. Yes, I pray tonight, God, upon this church. You know tonight, God, that we need to hold this place. You know, Father, tonight, God, the one who's more than me. I thought tonight, God, you know the one that's trying to say it. Oh, Father, help us, Lord. I pray to you, Lord, and for him to bless you tonight. Help us not to be so thankful. Lord, help us, my God, I pray Pray for him as she comes to song.
Jesus passing on his way came upon a man one day blind from birth darkness covering his mind Jesus spat upon the ground making clear about an alcoholic uh, I can look in this tent and see several alcoholics yeah. that was alcoholic yeah. <laughs> used to be yeah. at night <laughs> yeah. thank you You're Lord yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. Glad yeah. Yeah. I'm glad praise the Lord yeah. when the Lord moves in yeah. there's a change yeah. takes place yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. and you know but if there ain't a change made there's something that you're missing, amen? That's right, that's right, because I thought about what you said uh, about this right here, and I thought about it so much today. This needs to be a cross, amen? Why? To kill out the flesh. That's yeah. right. Amen. When we give our life to God, amen, kill everything in us out. Right. Raise us up a new creature. Amen. That's yeah. what he said, amen? And I thought about praise the Lord. I'm glad he did that to me, Chris. You know what I'm saying, son? Pray for Chris. Thank you, Lord. Bless her. Bless her. Bless her. Bless her. I just want to say tonight that I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Yeah. I'm glad that I know. Amen, Crystal. Yeah. I'm thankful. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Love my Savior. Yeah. As I sing this song, bless the Lord. Part of my testimony because Ever I don't Lord. want there to be anything in my life that God's not pleased with. Amen. Yeah. I, don't I want my life to be a light. Yeah. I want my life to be a help. Yeah. Yes. 
Amen. And I just pray that no matter where I go, no matter what I do, Amen. that I could help somebody. Amen. 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 I know within myself I'm absolutely good. Yeah. Yeah. Bless her, Lord. Uh -huh. But I know yeah. Yeah. that my yeah. really Praise the Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. And we can have life. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Well, it's good to be here tonight, and of course we know this will be the last night of the revival, and uh, we certainly thank God for what the Lord has done, and we want to give honor into who honors do, this man that's been opening up service every night is the one that got all this together and, yeah. and uh, if you've got anything from the Lord we thank the Lord uh, but you uh, will give Brother Trent a hand clap uh, Amen I appreciate it so, so much I appreciate uh, his zeal to uh, help people and see a revival in this community and uh, we appreciate uh, the sound man there how about that let's give him a hand yeah. Praise the Lord. appreciate Brother Jack tonight Amen. I thank the Lord for uh, what God has done, all the preachers and everybody that's came and helped us, uh, supported this revival. I haven't felt nothing, uh, no backlashing. Amen. I've just felt liberty to preach the gospel uh, every night. It's just been good, and uh, I, I'm appreciative. Appreciate Brother Ross uh, coming, being here with us. He's probably one of our uh, most elder preachers tonight. We certainly want to recognize him. Yeah. Any man that you know that ain't changed, just take your hand and just put on him. Amen. Yeah. If you know any man that hasn't changed, yeah. just note that man and watch that man. Yeah. Amen. Because I know plenty that's changed, yeah. but I know very few tonight that stayed with the stuff. Yeah. And I appreciate Brother Ross. Same ever since 
uh, that I met him. And I thank the Lord. So good to work with Brother Dale. Amen. I thought last night, I told several people today, one of the greatest messages I heard preached last night. Amen. 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 Just just so, so good tonight. So I just wanted to say a few words tonight before we uh, uh, got in the scriptures. If you have your Bibles, uh, Matthew 24 tonight, uh, Matthew chapter number 24. And uh, this being uh, the last service, we'd love to see somebody pray, love to see somebody get a hold of the Lord. And I want you to pray for me tonight. God would help us. Very familiar scripture tonight, what I'm going to read. We've all probably could quote it. And uh, I just want to do what the Lord would lead me to do. You pray that God would give me, amen, full clearance of the scriptures tonight in my spirit. All right, he's talking about the end of the world now, Jesus is. And the disciples had a couple questions for him. In the last, uh, in chapter or 24, verse 3, they said, What's the sign of thy coming? And then when the end of the world is. That's something everybody's interested in. Everybody wants to know when the end's coming. All right, listen to what the Lord said. He said, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, and then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. And shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. You thought you was living in bad times. You thought, hey man, you was living. I'm reading about the people of God right now. Hey man, listen to what the Lord said. You, you don't need, now I'm no big theologian, and I ain't got a lot of understanding. Amen about revelation. I don't claim to have none of that. Right. Just listen to what the Lord said. Right. The Lord said, then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted. Right. Amen. Yeah, right. And shall kill you and shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. If you ain't got enough God to get up and go to church on Sunday, you're wasting your time for what's getting ready to happen. You're wasting your time for what's getting ready to come up on you. Here's what the Bible said. Many shall be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Amen. But he, or and because of iniquity, shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. And he said, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. He said, when, he said, when, uh, you see, therefore, I verse missed 13, I missed that. He said, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Verse 15, when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. That'll be all we want to read tonight. Amen. And uh, I had a man meet me one night at the church and told me this was for the Jew. And uh, I just, you know, I don't, amen. I said, well, I, amen. That's amazing that God give you such intelligence. Yeah. Amen. But the Lord told me that this was for me. Yeah. He said, when I say unto one, I say unto y'all. Yeah. So I'm not going to uh, pretend tonight that God's a speaking this to another group of people tonight. I'm going to believe tonight that he's a, pick, uh, that he's a speaking it uh, unto you and I tonight. Yeah. Amen. And I want to talk tonight about enduring to the end. Yeah. About yeah. enduring to the end. And uh, I got to thinking about some of you that uh, now this revival has been a, a, a great revival and I'm, I'm thankful for what the Lord uh, friend has done and some of you has got saved and uh, some of you has come to the knowledge of God uh, in this meeting. Some of you that was backslid maybe wasn't living for the Lord uh, before the revival started and now it seemed like you got right back in the rhythm and that's what meeting uh, is supposed to do. It's supposed to uh, revive that that was dead and that that, hey amen, seemed like the enemy had, uh, maybe had rocked you to sleep, but now uh, you're back in the, the fight of faith, and, and I say thank God for all of that, uh, uh, but friend, what about when the 
eve, the meeting is over. Right. Amen. What about uh, of the churches that some of you go to? Oh. Amen. I'm glad tonight that I don't know really nobody. Yeah. I appreciate Brother Nathan and, and he's in revival and we appreciate a church book and, yeah. and Brother Roger, we know him from down in Irwin, but I really most of the crowd in this meeting has been new to me oh. and I'm glad tonight yeah. that I can get up right now and begin to preach to you what the Lord has given unto me. Amen. It is a striving way. And I, I'd like to thank tonight of every soul, a brother that's got saved under my preaching, that they're still enduring the way. But all tonight, I'd have to, I hate to tell you, amen, that they've been many that's prayed, but there's been many that's made shipwrecked. Brother, but that ain't what the Lord, brothers, are talking about tonight. He's a talking about enduring uh, this thing unto the end. Yeah. Uh, he's a talking about, uh, uh, brother, when the time really gets tough, uh, uh, brother, about making it all the way. Uh, uh, really, none of us tonight, uh, I know we've been saved, uh, and that's the terminology that we use. Uh, amen. We've, we've repented and we've come to God, uh, but really, we've not made it yet uh, uh, to the inside of that city. Uh, uh, brother, when there is a striving way. Uh, I want to say tonight if you're here and brother when you leave and you go to church if you ain't got a preacher that preaches you the truth of God's word you better find you a place amen, where they preach you the infallible word and not care about your children and not care about your money that you're putting in the plate but you see there's some things after you get saved brother that you gotta do oh I rejoice tonight I've down through the 25 years that I've been preaching and the souls that I've seen come oh tonight that I just wonder how many of them will make it out to the city of God and that we ain't going to spend time tonight As somebody said preacher if they got saved they'll make it I'm not going to waste time tonight I've seen them brother get a hold of God and brother run well and have an anointing some of them even made preachers and some of them singers but something happened uh, something got in their life. Uh, amen. Don't you let the devil uh, deceive you tonight. Uh, you may see Brother Jason come in uh, and sing like that it's always. Uh, amen. Brother Dale, like it's always. Uh, uh, brother, up on the mountaintop. Uh, like we're always just so spiritual. Uh, like we always uh, got such a line with God. Uh, but let me tell you tonight, it's a striving way. Uh, amen. I'm a striving. Uh, brother, to see this thing to the end. It's a striving way. And you don't know the fight that I have to fight. Brother Jason, do you ever fail God? I sure do. Yeah. The other night when Brother Dale was a preacher, I felt like I ought to have been the first one down to the altar. And I told Brother Dale, that's the kind of preaching that I need. Yeah. Brother, something to challenge my spirit. I wonder tonight how many of us is going to really make it. Have you got something down down inside, uh, brother, that you want to make it. Uh, something, let me say tonight, have uh, they been people as spiritual as you are, have uh, this fell off the journey, uh, hey, have they been more spiritual uh, than I was, have uh, they I'm not trying to be a prophet of gloom, uh, I'm just telling you tonight, uh, if you've not got a prayer life, uh, and you can't go to church, uh, and be faithful to the house of God, uh, what are you going to do, uh, when the time comes, uh, the Bible said you're going to be afflicted. Uh, Jesus said, uh, they're going to deliver you up uh, to be killed. Uh, amen. You're going to be hated uh, for my name's sake. Yeah. Oh, tonight, uh, brother, I want to make it. I don't know about you, uh, but I want to hear the Lord say, enter thou in yeah. thy good and faithful servant. And now you need to go to church uh, where you can hear preaching. I'm not talking about teaching. I've got a Sunday school teacher uh, that teaches at 10 o'clock uh, or 10 30 on Sunday morning uh, but when a man of God gets up and preaches uh, there's a difference uh, amen I'm not talking about talking uh, I'm talking about preaching uh, the word of God uh, Paul said it's not uh, with enticing words a uh, man 
man's wisdom, but it's in demonstration yeah. and power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God tonight. I want you to understand tonight. Jesus said there's just going to be a few that's going to make it to the city of God. And you make sure in your mind that you're going to be one of the few. And you've got to make sure, brother, the cost is this world. And the cost is your life. And you've got to be willing to lose it and to lay it down. Jesus said, if you try to gain your life here, you'll lose it there. And brother, you understand what I'm a preacher. Jesus said, it's an enduring way. It's a fighting way. It's a striving way. And this revival's bitching you up. And praise God for it. And next week you may be down and even feel like and wonder if you's even in a revival. Well, what are you going to do? Have the same thing you do better do it. And just get back up and keep on and keep it on. And just keep on. And brother, fighting on. You may think that there's people he met in this tent tonight and that just does it all right. And that's got it all figured out. But don't you be deceived. Every one of us fight the devil. Every one of us has got a flesh. Every one of us he met on the battlefield fighting for the Lord. But I've made up in my mind I can't go to hell. I've got to see what's on the other way. I don't know what tomorrow may bring. But by the grace of God, I'm going to endure this thing and see what's on the other side. I want to make it. Amen. Now, I'll tell you, Brother Leo here tonight, he's probably... 20, 25 years older than I am. I just came on the way over here. I said, Brother Leo, when you used to have revivals and there was people saved, amen, I said, did they continue in church? I mean, when they got saved, did they come back? And did they last a lot? And he said, well, some of them did. Amen, but some of them didn't. Yeah. And you know, it seems like today yeah. that you'll see them come down. I mean, we can get them down here to cry. Yeah. And we can get them down here, Mom, amen, Jason. to get a little bit of a worldly emotion. Yeah. Amen, the Bible said worldly sorrow, I work for death. Yeah. Amen, now if this preacher's making you mad tonight, let me ask you why. Amen, why would this make you mad tonight? I'm trying to tell you tonight that Jesus had a question as to him. Amen. They was a man that asked the Lord, are there many that be saved? And Jesus answered that question and said, strive. Now, wait a minute. This thing ain't easy. It's a striving way. Strive. And they enter in at the straight gate. Oh, Lord, they've been preachers that I preach with. Now they're backslid. They've been people that I used to shout with. And now they quit. And they go in the towel. Amen. Went back to the beggarly elements. I wonder about you tonight. What are you going to do? Some of you to hear tonight, you're lost. And the devil's got a hold of your life. God's been waiting on you. But I ain't here to sugarcoat it. After you come, you're going to have to fight the fight. You're going to have to get in. Amen. And get a hold of God. And war the battle. Amen. And weather the storm tonight. Well, Jeremiah said, when Israel was out of their will of God, he said, if you think it's bad now, amen, tending with the, with the footman. In other words, you're racing with man. Yeah. He said, what are you going to tell? You're going to tend with the horses. In other words, if you thought it was slowing you down, amen, racing with a man. He said, what are you going to do when you up our shoulder to shoulder with the horse? Yeah. And then he took it a step further. And he said, well, what will you do at the swelling of old Jordan? Yeah. Now, brother, when it comes down, amen, all your overtime, it ain't going to be no more important than crime than it is. And when it comes down to the judgment time, and brother, I won't tell you how much acres you got, how much money you got in the bank, how yeah. kind of vehicle you drive, and none of that's going to be worth a lick. And but the only thing that's going to matter yeah. is having God hey, and being saved tonight. I won't tell you tonight. And Paul said, I fought with beasts at Ephesus. He said, I went. He said, I was stone-priced. Yeah. He said, I've been shipwrecked.
scratch, it don't sound to me like an easy go. And I'm not telling you. Amen. You come get saved, you have persecution. Amen. You come get saved, the world's going to hate you. And then he's going to be offended at you. Oh, you say, preacher, wait a minute. Amen. Well, you, you, well, I thought you wanted me to get saved. Well, I do want you to come and get right. But what the people don't want you to know in the world is, is this blessed joy yeah. that comes of being saved. Yeah. And the peace that I have yeah. down in my soul. Yeah. I'm the church all by myself yeah. when nobody else is there. Yeah. Lord, yeah. He's with me tonight. Yeah. I bless His name yeah. for the joy yeah. that I have in my heart. Yeah. Now you've got an Thank obligation. You must get your children where the truth is. I don't care if Papa's in the cemetery. It don't matter about none of that stuff. No. Amen. Leave that church and find out where the truth is. Yeah. Amen. And if he don't get you mad every once in a while, he ain't much of a preacher. Yeah. Amen. You at Beth Eden and Stell Willer ever get you mad every once in a while? Amen. Yeah. I tell the church at our church, I said, I'm glad you're mad. I begin to think you'd lost feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know, something that's dead. Hey, God, but we, at least if you're mad, you got a little feeling left to you. And we need to have some feeling. Amen. Hallelujah. And to hear the truth and divide and sell it not. And to die out to this cross. And to die out to Jesus. And to love the Lord. And to follow Him. And endure it all until the end of night. There's a man. I ain't told this in years. I thought, I thought the Lord brought it to my mind just now. I was in a revi revival years ago. And uh, I, I, there's a man, I was a preaching that night, and there's all requesting prayer for him. And I hadn't even halfway got done preaching. And that man jumped up and started coming. Well, I just had to quit preaching. They just shouted me down. Oh, I rejoiced. That man prayed, and he got a hold of God in that meeting. And the preacher called me back the next year. I went back up there the next year. I mean, you know, it takes a few years to get to know the people. I, I went back the next year, got up and preaching. And lo and behold, there come that feller again. Yeah. Hey, amen. I thought in my mind, I thought he got saved last year. Yeah. Hey, amen. I thought he got right last year. Oh. Don't forget the parable of the sower. Yeah. Hey, amen. Don't forget about the seed that's sown among the thorns. Yeah. Hey, amen. And the seed sown in the stony places. Yeah. And don't forget what Jesus said. Yeah. Hey, amen. Second time he come. I mean, I hadn't even preached 10 minutes and here he come. And them are shouting and screaming, well, I just quit again. Now, the third time it happened. Hey, amen. Went back the third year. And I thought this time oh boy. Hey man, I know him. I saw, I went and went back in the church. I asked the pastor. I said such and such here. Hey man said no, he's done quit again. Hey man, I'm going to tell you what. Help you get Lord. in that old bracket of that stuff. Hey man, they won't nobody have no confidence in you. Hey man, get in church. Read your Bible. Hey man, be a soldier for Christ. Hey man, weather the storm. Hey man, when the church gets down on Wednesday night. Hey man, you can't feel nothing, then get up and sing. Yeah. Don't wait for the revival crowd to come in there yeah. and then want to get up and do something. Do Amen. something nobody else ain't doing. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, get a hold of God. Amen. You say preaching like that ain't going to help nobody. Oh, yeah, helping me. Said he backslid again. Now, I don't believe in that. I don't believe you backslide every time the ball team comes into town. I don't believe in that. Come on. Come on. I don't believe in that. No. It takes an awful lot to get me to pick this man. Yeah. 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 Oh, don't get me wrong. They've been loads that I've carried that not another soul in the world knew about. Yeah. And the devil said, just quit, just yeah. quit. But I hear the Lord say, endure. Yeah. Endure. Yeah. And strive. Yeah. And strive yeah. and fight. And fight. 
tonight. In fact, I mean, really, what, Brother Trent, what I was preaching about, when you come to pray and to get right, amen, you're literally a dying up here on this altar. Amen, you're a crucified. Hey, we want to crucify your flesh. Ain't no need me trying to paint you up something tonight. If you ain't interested in dying, stay in your seat. Amen. But let me tell you tonight, the Bible said there's pleasure in sin, but only for a season. Amen, but when you die to Christ, it's life's a vapor. Yeah. In just a few days, you'll be glad you did. Amen. Well, I got to preaching that week, and, and I looked back, and there he was again. And I thought, man, I know this routine. I've seen this for two years now. I've seen this for two years. And uh, I got up to preach that night, and guess what? About halfway during my message, here he jumped up and come a-running. All them people are screaming and shouting and hollering. Hey, man, well, I just stopped preaching. I come down there and I got right in front of him. And I prayed with him. I said, did you ask the Lord to save you? Do you want to be saved? And he looked at me and he said, yeah. I said, no, you don't. Come on. Yeah. That's what I told him. Come on, yeah. Come on Jason. Yeah. I said, no, you don't. No, you don't want to be saved. Help him, Lord. I'm going to ask you tonight, do you want to make it? Yeah. Do you want to go where the rivers are ebbing? Yeah. Amen. From the throne of God and there's joy and peace and love and no cancer and no death and no devil, no sickness. Yeah. Or do you want to step back up? here in a minute? I'm going to give an altar call and I'm going to go through the ritual of all preachers. Yeah. I'm going to sit up here and beg you and plead, but I ought not have to beg you. If there's anything between your ears tonight, you ought to run to God and run to Jesus and call on God and ask him to come into your life. Well, I, I asked that man, I told that man, I said, you don't want to get saved. He looked up at me. He didn't know what to say. Now I looked back down at him and I said, I've been up here for three years in a row now. Two years, you've done the same thing. They tell me when the softball team starts up, you start missing on prayer meet night. Come on. And you start laying out on Sunday. Come on. I said, you ain't wanting to get saved. I said, just in a few months when that ball team will get back, everything that you're telling right now, it'll all be done. Yeah. It'll all be forgotten about. Come on, Jason. Amen. You don't want to get saved. Oh, Lord, you're talking about some mean looks from family now. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I got some mean looks, brother. Hey, Amen. The old saying is, if, if looks could kill, I'd have been a dead man. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I mean, here I was. A, but let me tell you tonight, sometimes the cold, hard truth is what we all need. Yeah. Hey, Amen. We all need a good shaking up once in a while. But just like David when he said, Nathan said, thou art the man. I mean, that's what woke him up. Yeah. And children of God, we need woke up in this day we live. Well, I'm about done. Well, I told that fellow, I said, now, if you want to get saved, I said, you completely surrender it all. Yeah. You die out to God, and you're going to die and go to hell living like this. You completely die out to God, and you ask God to come in your life, and you ask God to save you. Yeah. And if you don't mean it, get up. And in two months, if you don't mean it, in two months, the ball team's going to come around and pull you away again. Get up and go back to your seat right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I told you. I ain't never told nobody else nothing like that in my life. Help him, Lord. I really ain't. But it seemed like the Lord ordained that that night. Yeah. Brother Roger, and I told him that. Man, you told him about praying. That fella started bawling. Yeah. I mean, he started crying, Brother Brandon. Yeah. And a screaming and a hollering. Hey, Amen. And we prayed. Well, he got up. And he got up the same way he always did. Told everybody he's saved. I got called back for the fourth year. For the fourth year. So this time, I'm going back to that meeting. I know that boy by name, I know him by face, and I'm a walking in, and I'm a looking in the church yeah. for him. I'm telling you the truth, I'm a walking in the church, and I'm a looking for him, and I thought, oh Lord, here he is again. Here he's done, went back again. Yeah. Hey man, I sit down, but there's a man in a suit and tie up here. He was facing toward the wall, and I didn't see him, and I didn't realize who it was, and all of a sudden that man turned around and said, if you have your song book, hey man, turn to page such and such. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey Amen. You know who it was, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Hallelujah. He made it up in his mind. Yeah. He got his mind made up. And I'm going to tell you tonight, if you ain't got your mind made up, don't come and pray tonight. Yeah. If you don't want to go to heaven, don't 
don't come and pray tonight. Amen. If you don't want to die out to sin and the flesh, don't come and pray tonight. Amen. Sit right there. We'll give the benediction. In 15 minutes, you'll be in the air condition going back home. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I know I told you I baptized that family this past Sunday. I've been trying to win him to God. He's my cousin. I've been trying to win him to God. We went down there to the river and baptized his whole family. I've never seen the whole family get baptized. Amen. He came, his daughter got saved first, Brother Trent. He, she come, boy, she got a hold of God. Oh, cried, got a hold of the Lord. Oh, Amen. And I give all the call after all the call, trying to win that boy to God. Yeah. He never would pray. Finally, on a Sunday morning, I just looked back and I said, Some of you ain't nothing but a bunch of stubborn billy goats. Yeah. 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 I said, you're stubborn. God wants to save you, work in your life, but you're stubborn, Billy Goat. Yeah. Good night and God bless you. Yeah. That's what I told him. Got back to the house, had my phone up. He had texted me. He said, I guess I'm the stubborn Billy Goat. And I texted him back and I said, I guess you are. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I guess you are. I mean, your daughter down here praying, her 14, 15 years old, you ought to have been at least a crime. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Or you ought to just sit down. Yeah. Amen. Pop up them arms. Yeah. Well, he finally came yeah. to the altar. Yeah. And I'll never forget it as long as he lives. I'll leave. Brother Leo, he got down there at night. Rodney Martin, that's who it was. He got down there at night, and he was a-praying. I mean, he was a-praying. And he was a-hollering at the Lord. And I kept hearing him saying, God, it's a-killing me. Yeah. God, it's things are killing me. And I just stopped him praying. I said, Rodney, let it kill you. Yeah. Rodney, let it die. Amen. That's what this gospel is designed to do. Amen. If you're happy with who you are and going to bed who you are, stay where you're at. Amen. But if you come to this meeting tonight <laughs> yeah. and you're miserable, yeah. you're unhappy, Amen. and you're not where you want to be, Come and die with Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Play for me. Amen. I want to quote you one more verse. I just want to quote you one more verse. Israel got out of God's will many, many times. And God's prophet, Ezekiel, he had a question for him. He said, Is my ways not equal? You say my ways ain't equal. You say that the things that I do ain't right. Talking about God. He said, let me give you something to think about. Yeah. He said, if a righteous man lives all of his life in righteousness. And he said, that righteous man turns Somebody said that's Old Testament. We'll just tire every bit of it out. Don't ever listen to nobody else preach on it no more. Amen. 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 Just tear every bit of it out. Genesis, Exodus, you don't need it. It's Old Testament. Amen. And I read where he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I just felt like saying that. He said, when a righteous man, in other words, if I go out here tonight, I've been saved 25 years. You could count on one hand. Now, I ain't saying it in a bragging way. You could count on one hand how many services I've missed. <laughs> At my home church. I mean, it ain't something we get out and debate about on Wednesday whether we're going or not. Yeah. We ain't got to flip a coin and see if it's going to be heads or tails. We're going. Yeah. We're going to the house of God. Yeah. I mean, that's where it is, ain't it, Roger? That's where it is. Amen. And, uh, and bless the Lord. If I go back out and I turn my back on that, God said, all them revivals, Jason, that you preached. Yeah. If I go and I commit a sin, yeah. 
And I don't get forgiveness of that sin. Yeah. Somebody said you can't sneeze and lose it. I know you can't sneeze and lose it. I ain't talking about sneezing and losing it. I'm talking about committing sin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about committing an act of transgression. Yeah. Willingly sinning and knowing God don't want you to do it. And you go out and you do it anyway. I ain't talking about sneezing. I'm talking about sinning. Yeah. Depart from me, ye workers of sin. Yeah. Sin. Sin. Yeah. sin. And I go out and I turn my back on God and I commit that sin. God said, all them revivals and all that faithfulness to church at Antioch. And every time you've witnessed, every time you do it, I take my racer and I race it all out. And now all I see is the sin. That's fine. That's fine. Is that in y'all's Bible? Yeah, it is. If you got a King James Version, it is. Yeah. I don't know what these new junks wrote about it, how they've transverted it, yeah. translated it. If you got an old King James Bible, it's in there. Yeah. Well, Israel said that ain't fair. That ain't fair. Yeah. That don't seem right. I live for God all my life and hey man, get down at the end and the devil tempt me and lure me away. Like I said, I ain't talking about a, a boo-boo. I'm talking about you going out and sinning. Yeah. And the devil pull you back out in there. That don't seem right. And God said, you say my ways is not equal. Now let me show you this way. Yeah. You got a man that's lived a wicked life. Yeah. Yeah. Fornicated, committed adultery, hey, drunk Brian. beer, laid with everything, went and come, yeah. stole, lied, cheated, yeah. took my name in vain, yeah. raised to hell every Friday, Saturday, did everything ungodly. Yeah. There it all is on the paper. And if that wicked man will turn yeah. and come down here, I'm going to take that same eraser. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you ought to done been up a shout. Because that's what God did for you. He erased all of your sin. Give you peace. I'm going to forgive every bit of it. I believe if I was there that day, I believe I'd say with Ezekiel, God, you're equal. Now, there ain't a bit of need coming up here and praying if you don't mean it. Some of you is raised right. Yeah. You had family that raised you right, and you're not living right. Yeah, you had family that taught you the Word of God, yeah. took you to church, loved you, and you still ain't living right. Some of you, amen, are wishy-washy. Yeah. You say, we go into church. We go into church. We, we see people, and we hear people. We don't know them. We rejoice with everybody. But I go in. I've been preaching long enough to know. I figured out a few things. I watch the pastor of that church, how he acts when they get up. I watch the pastor of the church, see what he does. Amen. How he responds to them. Amen. Are they them ones? Amen. Shout today and won't be back for a month. That ain't an enduring way. That ain't a striving way. I've done enough damage tonight. I hate the devil. The devil don't like his kind of preaching. I know he does. I feel hell against me right now. But he can't do a thing against the truth. He can't do a thing against this truth tonight. Now, if you're not interested in going to heaven, if you're not interested in living right, dying out to the cross, amen, having peace and joy and love, amen, it won't take very much longer what I got to do. But if you're here tonight and you're lost, or you backslid and you're out of the will of God, you say, Preacher, I want to be saved. I want to make it. Here's what I want you to do right now. I ain't going to ask nobody to bow their head tonight. I'm going to ask you right now. Get up out of your seat. Come to this altar. You say, Preacher, what I'm going to do? Honey, it's more than just asking him to save you. Come up here and die. Come up here and let God kill that woman in you. Come up here and let God kill that man in you. Oh, but let me tell you something about him. When he kills you, he'll resurrect you. That first Adam will kill you, but that second Adam, he'll give you life. That first Adam, we all die. But that second Adam, we're made up in his resurrection to walk in the newness of life. Come on, right now.
Come on, right now. Get up. Come on. Come on, right now. Get up. Come on. Come on, right now. Come to this old fashioned altar. Would you right now, please? Church, pray right now. Everybody pray right now. You got me a song ready, Ethan? Amen. Somebody right now need to come. Get up right now. Come. We've been waiting on you, God. We've been waiting on you, God. God bless you, young man. God bless you. Somebody else come. Come up here and die. That's what it's designed to do. It's designed to kill who you are. If you don't kill who you are, it's going to send you to hell. If you don't kill the man or the woman you are, they're going to send you to hell. That's what the brother's talking about, looking in the mirror. Somebody else. Somebody else tonight. Get up come. Come on, right over here on my left side. Who am I talking to? God's talking to somebody right now. Somebody right now. Get up right now. Come. God's talking to your soul right now. Get up and come. Come on. He that endureth to the end. I'm going to tell you, you think Corona's bad. Corona will be strawberry and ice cream. Amen. You wait till the mark of the beast comes. He say, amen. You wait till the time of trouble. Amen. Like we ain't never seen comes upon it. Brother, terrible days is a coming. Amen. Dark days is a coming. And if you're here tonight and you're not where you need to be at God, you need to get up right now and get where you need to be at God. Come on. Come on, I feel the conviction in my own heart. I feel it in my spirit tonight. God's talking to somebody. Right now, come on, right now. Take somebody by the hand. Come on. If you know somebody here tonight's lost, backslid, not living right, take them by the hand right now. Come on, right now, friend. God's a talking to you. Get up out of your seat. The Holy Ghost is a bidding you. The Holy Ghost is a beckoning unto you right now. Pray, sinner, pray. Pray, backslider, pray. Amen. Somebody else tonight want to come. Somebody else tonight want to come. Somebody else want to come tonight. Come and die at the cross. Come and die at the cross. Let him kill you tonight. Let the blood of Jesus Christ kill you. Let the resurrection of Christ raise you up. Somebody else tonight, would you? Please, right now. Oh, God. Man, I hate to give this altar call up. This is the last night of the meeting. This is the last time. This is the last time. Somebody needs to come. Right now, somebody needs to come. Come on right now, please. Please. You say, preacher, I'm not ready to die. I'm not ready to give it up. I'm not ready to surrender it. I know. That's why you've not come yet. But it breaks my heart that you're not. Because I don't even know where you're sitting at, but I prayed all day for some souls that's here tonight this meeting. I don't even know where you're sitting at, but it breaks my heart to know that you're going to walk away from Jesus. Just right now, right gently and right, right gently tonight. Let me say one more time. Would you come to Jesus? Over here on my right side, everybody look up here at me. Everybody look up here at me. I'm not, I'm not condemning nobody. If you're here tonight and you're not really ready, you're not ready. The last night of the revival's come, folks. It's come. God, God's expecting something different out of you tomorrow than He's seen out of you today. Would you come? Is there anybody that wants to come? It's all well right here. It's all well. Right here in the middle. God bless you, sister. She started this meeting off. She came. I told her the first night of the meeting after she prayed. I said, it'll do you good to come every night. You've been here every night, ain't you? Last night, I told my wife on the way down here, I said, I seen you last night. You just seemed like you was a dormant while Brother Dale was a preacher. Amen. Endure to the end, sister. Endure to the end. Is there anybody right here tonight that needs to come? Right now, would you get up and come? This is the last night of the meeting. This is the last night of the meeting. The lights will be turned off 2021 this year. Young man, do you feel better in God? Endure to the end, son. Die daily with Christ. He'll give you something that will take you all the way from here to glory. He'll give it to you, friend. Is there anybody right over here? Oh, there's something pulling me over here. Somebody over here needs to pray. Somebody, I feel it right now. The hair on my arms is standing up. Somebody right now needs to come. It may be the last time. It may be the last opportunity. Would you get up right now and forsake your sin and come to Jesus? Would you do that right now? Would you come to Jesus? 
Would you come to Jesus yeah. and let God give you peace? He's the only hope that you have. It's Jesus. When you get Him in your life, it ain't that everything in your life is going to be fixed overnight. But He'll th show you the way to travel. To help you see a better life that you're living. Would you come right now? I'm getting ready to give it back to Dale Trent, whoever wants to finish this altar call. I've done everything I know to do. I just want to make sure to tell all of you, endure to the end. Endure to the end. Endure to the end. Are you coming? Are you coming? step out tonight and just come. Never heard such good preaching in my life. And God sent the truth, didn't He? God sent the truth tonight. Would you come? Would you come tonight? Come on while God's drawing you. You know you need to move. You know you're not where you need to be of the Lord. How about it, friend? Would you come? I can't say. I can't add nothing to what he said. All I can say is it's here for you if you want it. How about it? Would you step out and come? Would you step out and come? Come on. You may... You, I thought about, you know, uh, you think about this. You may have family members that you're worried about. You may have family members that once was in church. That's out now. What kind of help could you be to them? The shape you're in. You want your family to get back in church. Maybe you need to get right with God and get what you need in your life. How about it? Won't you come? What What do you What have you got to uh, that's uh, holding you back? The Lord's wanting to save you tonight. God's wanting to help you. All you got to do is step out and come, and I'll guarantee you that they're gonna be people that are gonna get in here and pray with you as soon as you get up. They're going to be waiting on you getting this off. Let us stand tonight, everybody. You've done it on your feet, so just come on. Would you come? Would you come? How about it? Come on. Come on. When you leave here tonight, if you ain't obeyed God, if you ain't made the move that the Lord wanted you to move, what if he calls you tonight? It'd be too late. You've been miserable for two weeks. Won't you come? Lay in there, boys. Trust the Lord with it. Stay with Jesus. How about it? Does somebody else need to pray? Somebody need to pray. I need to pray. Pray for I need to get out of here. Maybe the last time you ever hear the word of God. And you will stand before the Lord. No excuse. When he says, depart from me, I never knew you. That'll be the worst words that a man, woman will ever hear. Don't let that happen to you. Step out and come tonight. These people want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. Just come on. August the 5th, 2001. Got over here in a little white church in the Bailey Settlement. I'll never forget that night. 
I appreciate Brother Daniel letter. He was the one that I thought about kept on to me and stayed on to me. You said, I wish you'd shut up. I wish Ted had shut up. Look at him. Why he's concerned to know that he's going to die and go to bed. Thank you, Lord. I thought about that night at 7 o'clock. I'll never forget it. Never forget as long as I live. I was sitting there, the closer I got to that church of going in at the doors looked like they're closing up. I never went to church none in my life. I was mean, I was filthy, I was everything that you wasn't supposed to be. And I thought about it, I went and I said, I can take you right to the pew in that church over there. I'll never forget that night. Brother Reed got up. I thought about it. here was another boy in there. Two more. I thought about they got up and went to the altar and I didn't know I didn't even know how to go pray. She said, Preacher, was you that ignorant? I was. I didn't know what to do. I thought about they here they wasn't getting saved. I thought about they the crying and everything else. I thought I was raised up not to cry. I thought about I was a cry. I'll never forget Brother Reed. He said, Does anybody need to do something? I said, I need what they got. I am miserable. And all he done was just straight. I'll never forget him standing on the right side of that pole, the left side of that pole. I'll never forget them. It's on the left. <laughs> Come on. That was the best choice I ever made. It's your choice tonight. He said, choose him this day. And he changed and he might need done a work in me. How about it tonight? Would you come? Would you come? I don't want to stop. Hey, somebody here tonight that's that close, but you just but you just don't want to make the first move. Come on. Please come. Come. Would you come? i 
Church, I love you tonight. Amen. I hope summer's tonight. Bless him, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Good, ain't yeah. Appreciate the Lord. I might appreciate this meeting. Appreciate these men. I love them with all my heart. Yes. Yeah. Have you seen it? Close. Yeah. But I'm glad what the Lord's done. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because the tent ain't going to be there. Don't mean that this revival kicked up. That's right. You take this, what the Lord has given us. And you take it to your church in the morning. Yeah. Right, right. And you share it with some people. Yeah. Tell them what God's done for you. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord, Amen. Jesus Praise Jesus. the Lord tonight. Amen. 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 Anything on your heart. Bless the Lord. Praise Chris. Ben, I'd like to say a little something. I've tried to keep quiet through the whole thing, but I was talking to him uh, Bless yesterday you. or day before yesterday one. I've seen so much love under this tent. Started in Trent's heart, I believe. That's where this started. Yeah. 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 And uh, these brothers have traveled a pretty good ways, yeah. and I don't think they stayed night after night in a four-star hotel over here. They've tried to travel. Yeah. Yeah. And they've had to work during the day, and I've seen that love yeah. Yeah. for the lost. Amen. Yeah. And I've seen all of you that's come and prayed for lost people. Yes. And I, for one, want to thank you. Yeah. Because I've seen things here that it's... I'm getting up in years. It's been a long time since I've seen this much love. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. And this love started in Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Yeah. When he walked up Calvary's hill, yeah. Yeah. gave his life uh -huh. to me. Yeah. And I, for one, and I challenge you that's under this tent tonight, I challenge you to go out and tell the world uh -huh. yeah. the love that I've seen here in the yeah. life that was in Jesus Christ. Praise yeah. the Lord. If we all go out and tell somebody, yeah. tell everybody we see. Bless him, Father. Yeah. That's right. This this revival will go on. Yeah. Amen. 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 Man, I thank you. These guys have come and played every yes, night. Sir. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you what, this is this has been amazing. It's been amazing. Ain't God great? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't God great? Bless him, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Oh, thank Good you, Lord. job, Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate what he is. Amen. I thought about these men, and I'm going to brag them. I know they don't want to be lifted up. Praise the Lord, hey, they work bragging off. Amen. Yeah. But I thought about, I thought about yesterday. Last night when the service was over with. I loved them. But I thought about last night. Not before last night. There was somebody came and said, well, this is the one. Yeah. I don't know. I said, you talk to these men. I said, it's up to them. Brother Jason stood up here last night. I said, I believe Jason. He said, I was going to close it last night. Uh -huh. And I thought about it. I drove an hour to hike each way. Yeah. Just come back one more night. One's more so. Yeah. Amen. 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 That ain't love. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's right. Yeah. I think about it. I had to walk to the camp. Yeah. 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 Well, God's good. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Love you tonight. Appreciate everybody that's come. Amen. I thought we was uh, going to.
drop the tent tonight, but it's got dew on it by now. Uh, so uh, we'll uh, meet out some of whoever can. We'll try to get it took down for them before long. Uh, let's give them a hand. Let's give them a hand. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> like I said, I don't mind. It seemed like a Plymouth ladder of a Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'll thank you for saving my soul. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate the work you preach. That's what we need. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need no corners, cat. No. We need to work. Yeah. yeah. I just want to thank the Lord tonight. I've got a mighty God. Yeah. My son right here had melanoma on the top of his head. Bless her, Lord. Like a spigot went down over his body. Yeah. They took the lymph nodes out of his neck. Neck and his ear. You know, God touched him and healed him. He did not have a, he did not have a treatment. Praise yeah. Thank God for yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you for what he's done for me and my children, my family, yeah. and all of my children. Yeah. Bless you. Thank God for these men that has preached the word. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. My son. And the devil tries to tell me all the time I'm not saved, and I just got to tell him he's a liar. Yeah. 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 Amen. That's right. Amen. Yes. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Anything else? I'm glad I'm saved. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Praise Bless the Lord. Bless him, Lord. Yeah. Don't change something. I'm glad to know that I know will never know. Yeah. yeah. Bless him, Lord. Lord, God, I was talking to Homer before we come in this place. I said, did you ever notice something I said in there? Just like God turned the volume up. He was like an echo. Honey, these people around here, if they die lost and go to hell, honey, they can blame themselves. Yeah, my They're without excuse. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm glad to know that my name is written in the name of God. We'll praise His name. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise Yeah. Yeah.
Master of the Why do you get up on Charlie's pole? When you get over here and you walk in here and walk the thing, and you sit down for a minute. Yeah. That's why I got over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I appreciate David being it. I won't say that. David, this must be hard getting us together. Because I was. Yeah. And, and it ain't nothing that we don't want to credit for nothing. I want Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Amen. 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 We're going to take up another offering now. We'll get a little religious on this thing. <laughs> so we're going to take up an offering. You give tonight. Say something. Go ahead, say something. You're doing all this survival and everything. I'm saying the thing about you. You're saying the thing about God. 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 You're saying the I'm glad for my brothers and sisters in God. That's right. Yeah. I appreciate it. You know, we need to pray for one another and live for one another. Yes. And, and just just live it the best we know how and, and not the best that we know how, but just put all of our trust in God and, and live according to the Word of God and, and by the leadership of the Spirit of God. Yes. That's what we've got to go by is the leadership of the Spirit. If we obey the Spirit of God, Bless it will never lead us wrong with it. Yeah. I, I'm glad for the Spirit. I'm, yeah. I'm glad that I know when God uh, comes to my heart and wants me to move and to say something for him. Yeah. 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 I appreciate the Lord tonight. I do too. I've been saved since 1962. I've not always been perfect. But I, but I'm glad. You bless him, Lord. Yeah. Bless him, Lord. Yeah. I failed the Lord. Yeah. I said a lot of times when God was wanting me to get up and say something, I didn't. And like somebody said, do not. Bless him, Lord. Being with him. Yeah. For not moving for God. And I come to the conclusion that no matter where I'm at, who's there, no. or anything about it, God wants me to say it. I'm just going to stay in here. Yeah. 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 I thank God for what he's done for me. Yeah. yeah. Amen. 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 When I come to him, I didn't have much to offer him. No. Just me. <laughs> but when I come, I, all I could bring to him was just me. Yeah. I give yeah. myself to him. Amen. Amen. I tell my people, if you think you've got God and he's not got you, you may not have him. Amen. 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 When Amen. you get God, God's got you. Yeah. Amen. 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 We we'll just give ourselves to God and just let Him have us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll lead us and guide us. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. By the grace of God, yeah. 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 I don't meet you and see you no more. Between here and the time that I'll leave here, <laughs> I hope to meet you on yeah. yeah. the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm glad for their hope. Yeah. That hope is in Jesus. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Nothing else. There's nothing else that you can put your hope in. No. Tonight, but the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. I'm glad tonight that He is our only hope. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 You give the Lord, please, if you don't have nothing to give, that's fine. You pray. Remember your church services tomorrow. Pray much for that. Pray for the pipe. Keep praying, man. God bless you. Love you. Amen.